Let someone shout a big hallelujah. Uh, before I say any other thing, I bring uh, greetings from my son. Uh, you know, when you have a pastor and a bishop in the same place, the bishop must do the preaching, he must do the talking, while a small pastor like me will just stay put. Uh, children of mine, I give you Bishop David Oyedipo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let everyone be on their feet and take their soul. All the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. For the glory must be to the Lord. Give the Lord the biggest of the praise of one. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Every man is ordained for a change of story. When the time comes, where no man knows. Where go, no man knows. Amen. Jacob was on his way to the house, and he goes and he got from the Lord, and he said, "Who let you bless me? Bless me." What? And the grace of the Lord came upon him afresh. Understanding the breakthrough power of patience for double portion. One of the greatest things people in this generation lack is the word patience. You want to see everything work at the same time, that's why nothing is working for you. That's why nothing is working for you. Wait for him. For how the end is a soul is big. Abaco 2 verses 2 is a right division. Make me on the table that he may run and he that is no shatari. Wait for him. For how the end is a soul is big. My God. How the end is a definite spirit. What an amazing time to be alive. To witness this great day. How the end is to speak. Amen. Give the Lord the biggest of the praise of the world. Give me is the prayer point of a baby. Lord, show me, show me is the prayer point of a strong Christian. No matter how much you love your child, you can't say, my friend, uh, a 30 year old, say, my friend, I give you this coffee. Go from old arena to new arena. You will know. Even if that child is in a car, a self driving car, you will know the life of that car, the child, is going to be, going to be truncated. It will be truncated. Because it's not right, except for that child. The Lord spoke to me in 1981. He said, the hour has come to navigate the water of the world of pressure of the devil to the bridge of the world of faith. Now I'm setting the doom to navigate this stuff. He sent me and he sent myself. And he sent myself. He sent me and he sent myself. And since then, up to now, it has been from glory to glory, from grace to grace. And before you can begin to experience this double portion, are you ready to do the double work? It's all good to say, Lord, I want this thing. Double person simply means double waiting. Double prayer. Double understanding. My God. He said, for they that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. Well, I didn't write the Bible. You saw me who wrote the Bible. It has been a before I was even born. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I am starting something, yes. Well, I'm still a baby in the field anyway. I'm still a baby in this field. Oh. Going forth and doing God's work. This thing works on what she said. What she said. Amen. Ooh. What an amazing time. And I want to say a very big thank you to my father in faith. The general was here himself. Daddy, it's a great privilege to be here today. I do not talk it for granted, sir. On behalf of all winners of the world, we say a very big thank you to you, sir, for this great privilege. My daddy, thank you so much for the privilege. The Lord bless you, sir. Let someone shout a big hallelujah. Uh, uh, 
will just bless you a little and uh, get out of your way. Thank you, Father. Daddy said I should tell you a short story and then I will pray this prayer for you. Years ago in my prayer room, I would be praying for Nigeria, for the world, for the redeemed Christian Church of God. And my youngest son would just walk into the prayer room and say, Daddy, I need cookies. Ah. Can't you see I'm praying? But the young fellow did not care at all. He wanted his cookies and cookies he will get. Go and meet your mother. Daddy, I want cookies. And so I would have to stand up and look for cookies so that he would leave me alone. Eventually I began putting cookies in my prayer room so that when he comes, once he says, Daddy, I want, I just give it to him. And what is my daddy saying? He said, some of you have been waiting since the beginning of this week for your own cookies. Daddy said, I should tell you, because you have waited this long, before this day ends, you will hold your miracle in your hands. I'm not just the one that will satisfy you alone, but a double portion. If you believe it, shout the loudest amen. So who got the biggest miracle here tonight? Uh, why don't you shout a really big hallelujah? Jesus. 